Hello and welcome back to another class of uh, HTML. So in our previous classes we have learned how to create frames and then um, we have also learned how to divide our browsers into rows and then a columns. So today uh, we will learn what are name frames and then how to use a name frames. So first of all a name frame means it is a type of frames where a name is assigned to a frame and then, and then those frames are targeted using a hyperlink and then when the user click on that hyperlink a new page is displayed on the targeted frames all right so let me show you an example of how this name frame works so out here i have uh, two frames here and then and these two frames, two different pages are displayed. So a name is given to each of these frames and then they are targeted using a hyperlink. And then where the when the user clicks on that hyperlink, it will display at another new pages on the targeted frames. So it does not mean that it should only be uh, two frames. It can we can perform this one with uh, any number of frames and then this links it can be placed anywhere so out here in this example if I click here I have targeted a different page to be displayed out here so when I click it the contents will change it like this so that's how the um, name frame works name frame means it is a type of frames where a name is assigned to a frame and then those frames are targeted using a hyperlink so that when the user clicks on that hyperlinks different pages it will be displayed on that targeted uh, frames okay so uh, let me close this one so to perform your uh, name frames we needed less um, two or three different uh, pages so that uh, it will work uh, properly so uh, to create our uh, name frame, let us um, try to do it separately to avoid confusion. All right, to avoid confusion, you can still uh, create it inside your old folder where you have been saving all your um, HTML pages. But for now, let us try to create a new folder. After that, let us uh, try to practice a name frame here so that uh, uh, you will not get confused. All right, so I will give this name as frames all right you can give any um, folder name as you wish for now for me I will give the name as a frames to practice our um, name frame all right so let me go here after that the first thing what we have to do is we have to create a frame and then only after cr after creating that frames we will try to um, create those main pages all right so to create a name frame we have to give it as a frame set after that let us divide it in in my example i have shown only which is divided into uh, columns for now this example let us try to do it with both um, rows and columns so that it will be easier for you when you want to extend your uh, project all right so frame set after that let us divide it into rows all right so let us divide it into two rows all right now we have uh, two rows after that frame set let us divide our first row into two different columns all right so in that first row we have two columns so since we have two columns we have to give two frame source out here one out here one more frames after that let's close our frame set okay after that now let us create for the second frame so let us just copy this one after that let's paste it here okay so the we have two rows in the two rows the first row it have two columns 
and our second row we have another two more columns so it is not mandatory we have to give it only two rows two columns you, you can perform it with any number of rows and then columns okay now we have to link different pages here so for now let us give men dot html for now we do not have this man do this gmail but for example let us just create it man do this gmail so in this um this will be the first frame in our name frame after that let's give list to this gmail which we have already created in our another folder list all right instead of that let's go back after that let's copy some uh pages here background basic download file let us copy this tree background basic download all right you can copy any pages let's go to our frame after let's paste it here so out here we have background basic and then download so let's go back here after that let's say uh, background to the html so that will be displayed in our second frame and our third frame let's give basic and then download so basic.html after that download.html so you can copy and then paste it and then um, give any html pages as you want so i will review it one we have a frame set which is divided into two rows in the two rows the first row it have a uh, two columns in the two columns the first frame is main.html and then in the second frame it will display background to the html and then in that second row we have two more columns so in the second row the first frame will have a basic to the html after that download to the html i think this basic is already blank since it is a, just a basic structure of html instead of that let's uh, copy this one image to the html okay so instead of the basic i will write um image to the html so right now all of these pages is already there in our folder but this main is missing all right so uh, right after keep writing your frame source we have to give a name so that it can be targeted using a hyperlink so since we are doing a name frame we have to give a name to each of these frames so no need to give it here since we are going to use those hyperlinks here so let's give it here name is equal to you can give any name as you wish all right it doesn't it is not mandatory but make sure to remember what you have given for each of the frames so for this frame i will give name as a display all right after that out here again let's give a name name is equal to display two all right make sure to keep it inside this uh, double quotation after that i will give name is equal to display three all right so i have given the name of this frame is display display two display three let's make it one display one display two and then display three now let's save this one file save as so i will save it in my folder frames right so out here i will save as frame dot html all right frame dot html okay we have already created our frame now so let us view it inside your browser okay so this is one page this is another page and then this is another page now okay now let us try to create the page for this one man to this gmail out here we need to have all those links all right so let us open new notepad this is my frame page i'm opening a new uh, page here so out here what we have to do is um, we have to give all those hyperlinks so let us give one background color all right now um, we have to create a hyperlink ahref is equal to after that what page you want to open it so since 
let us close it after let us uh, copy some more um, pages so form after that table let me copy this form and then table to our frame folder here to use as a link form and then table all right so let me say form dot html i want to open that form after that let's say click here all right so when we click that hyperlink i want this one to open it and target is equal to after that inside our frames we have this the name of this one is display one display two display three so when you click that hyperlink from here and which frame you want to open that particular html page you have to target that one so target is equal to let's say display one so that when the user clicks out here this form to the html it will get open in this display is equal to one out here so we can uh, go on creating like this br after that what what was the another pages here table all right so a h r e f is equal to let's say table dot html after that target is equal to let's say display two so in my second frame i want to open this table dot html click here okay, you can give any name as you wish let's give one more br after let's create one more a href is equal to let's use the same uh, name form dot html after that we have to target and then let's say display three so where you want to open your pages you have to target that one here after that let's close my hyperlink after that let's pr okay so up here let's create one heading two click on the link to see different pages heading two okay so we already have a uh, three link because uh, uh we want to target only three different frames all right so if you are targeting four you need to have a uh, four hyperlinks and so on so now let's save as after that inside this let's save it as man.html we are saving it as a man to this email because when we create our frames we have given us man to this email so if you uh, want to use uh, different names with the different links uh, you can give that one also okay now uh, let us try to check our um, main frame okay so i made a mistake here so it should be like this all right okay so i should open that one okay now what we have to do is to see the output we do not need to run from this main we need to run from the frame dollar stream so let's run our frame page okay so when we run our frame first the main page is displayed out here and then different pages were already displayed out here now when i click that second frame which is targeted to this frame it should open another different pages like this again when i click my second frame it will open different page like this when i click this one again another different page so um name frame it works like this you need to have a hyperlink and then that hyperlink should be targeted to any of these frames out here which we have given a name while creating a frame we have given a name as display one for the first frame the name of this one is display one so that when we click our hyperlinks this one in our main managed email it is targeted to display one this means that when the user clicks that hyperlinks form to the html it will be opened in the display one frame so that's how a uh, name frame works you can um, target any pages from anywhere for example like you may have a hyperlink here also so that when the user clicks it 
different pages will be open here and then the vice versa you can give your hyperlink anywhere but to make sure that the hyperlink you created and then the target link is accurate which means that if you have a hyperlink here and then if you want to target a different page out here this frame name and then the name what you have given when you create the link out here it should be same so target link means when we click it and different pages will open on a sub on, on a particular frame where you have targeted so that's how a name frame it works so for to make this um, name frame work we need to have a page which contains this links along with the targeted frames all right after that you need to have a frame frame page where you have to create a frame and then give a name to each of those frames so and then after that to view the output of uh, to view the output of the frames we have to run the frame.html not the main.html so um, that's the end of our frames uh, thank you so much and then i'll see you in the next class